This video is meant to be a preview, or I guess completely a spoiler, of an upcoming episode of NCIX Tech Tips where I'm going to take a much closer look at the Corsair F60. This is from their 4 series of SSDs. That means it features the Sandforce controller, which is the latest and greatest controller on the market. I did do an unboxing of this particular drive, so you can see the accessories it comes with, including a 2.5 to 3.5 inch adapter. But anyway, the angle I'm taking on this particular episode is going to be what if you were an early adopter for SSD, so I found the oldest SSD drive I could find. In this case, it was a, a some crucial 64 gig drive. This is back before there were even like series names like Force. Um, so this is just called 64 gig SSD drive. Here's the part number here. This was really the oldest thing I could find. And I want to find out because I've compared the Sandforce controller. I've compared a modern SSD to a hard drive before, but I've never compared it to an old SSD. So what if you were one of the people who bought one of these for $750 back when they were current and the, the hottest new thing? Is it worth it to upgrade already? Because a 4 series drive is only $200 for almost the same capacity and as we will see, and I'm going to totally ruin the surprise here, so there's the 4 series drive. It's $200 at the moment on NCIX. As we will see from the benchmark results that I obtained with it, if you were using an old drive, so here, let's find the crucial old SSD. You can see that it scores only 1,147 points on the hard drive test. So this drive, just trying to benchmark it was painful. It actually took about 30 seconds longer to boot up the OS compared to the 4 series drive. So it took about, if I recall, I wrote this down at work, but it took about a minute and 25 seconds to boot up, whereas the 4 series SSD was around the 50 second mark. Okay and just trying to use the system was painful. Everything took so long, especially when I was multitasking, because like many old SSDs, this drive suffers from a bit of a stuttering issue. So if you're using multiple applications at the same time, what'll happen is as the drive tries to access data that's, and I'm being very figurative here, here and here at the same time, the controller gets confused, it doesn't know what to do, and it actually can take longer than a hard drive to access those two bits of data, even though a hard drive actually has physical moving parts inside that need to seek and find the data on a physical hard disk platter. So that was one of the challenges with early SSDs. With the Sandforce, that problem is completely solved, uh, along with offering much better speeds on sequential reads and writes as well. So here are the scores. Let's do a couple quick comparisons. So the ones that are most relevant, this is uh, kind of an antivirus security software test. So you can see that it comes in at 10 megabytes per second. So let's compare that to the 4 series SSD, where you can see that we are actually getting 22,000 marks in the hard drive suite on PC Mark Vantage. And then here in the Windows Defender test, we are seeing a 10x improvement at 120 megabytes per second when we're using like a um, a system utility type program. Now gaming it did a little bit better. Now gaming it would do well because sequential reads are something that old SSDs were reasonably good at, where it's just taking one big long file and reading the whole thing start to finish. So even then, even in the one that it did, I think best in, yeah, best in, the Sandforce SSD just smokes it. Now random stuff, where you're accessing little bits of data all over the drive, that's where the newer SSDs really shine. You compare that to the numbers that we saw on the old Crucial SSD and everything is as much as as much as all, 50 times faster on a newer SSD compared to an older one. So there you have it. We have seen that if you were an early adopter, basically it's from a capacity standpoint, not really, but from a performance standpoint, it's getting to be time to go ahead and replace that SSD already. Thank you for checking out my video blog, and uh, please stay tuned to my NCIX Com channel where I will be doing the official video on this subject. And don't forget to subscribe to both Linus Tech Tips as well as NCIX Com.